Greetings everyone, and Great here from another HBARS 4 replay. So on the north side is the green ottomans. We have Lucifero and let's go immediately grab a round of stone for Military Academy. On the south side is the yellow holy empire. We have Aldemar. Green does find some sheep there. Green's natural coal expansion is way back up north, while over here his gold piles are a little bit exposed. Yellow's course is relatively exposed as well, and his natural expansion is more leftwards, which is, should still be nice and securable. He does have a uh, boar and deer right next to each other over here. That could be very useful. And his deer, natural close deer deposits on the cliffside. A little bit harassable by archers. Military school going on up. Got a good number of sheep falling yellow home. Green has a couple over here. Now we've got the Akin Chapel not being floating out. The Akin Chapel is one of the most powerful landmarks in H2. But in this case, it will only give him improved sheep collection and wood collection. Not any other resource. He could have looked more over here to get better gold and stone collection, as well as some berries. When Minaret Minaret is not being flown in field. Spear being annoying. Denying the gold deposit wouldn't make it harder for him to go for fast castle like most Holy Roman Power players do. But this will allow him to get a quite bit of wood immediately, so perhaps he can get out a man of arms or two to gauge these spearmen safely. He actually has very little villagers on food at the moment. He is sort of knocking around the deer. Scout moving around does find a sheep there, hiding in the woods. And now I've got a barracks and archer range going on up. And now spear not being pulled on the field. Military academies have been swapped over to the Sapahi. And emergency repairs there would make all that spear work do for nothing. And arms deployed on the field as well as some archers. Going to eye for some counter-aggression. Feudal age main arms are the most difficult units to deal with. Archers push way four does get a volley onto those villagers. Let's get some damage on these villagers. You just may want to find an angle outside the town so just put them hold ground sand so they can just take pot shots against those villagers. Looks like these villagers are going to try to build some walls over there. Let's get some good damage there. One villager does go down. Very good snipe there. It's a bit more difficult to snipe villagers like that with regular archers rather than long bowmen. And now we do have a vizier now available. Let's see what he goes for. He hasn't sucked anything just yet. The villager does go down there. Good picks there by yellow. You usually don't see whole empire players be aggressive of archers. Most time they just go straight to castle and go try to go straight in imperial. So, got a very aggressive Holy Empire player here. We probably would have benefited a bit more, a bit more towards the Minwork Palace rather than going for the Akin Chapel for this aggression. Because it could have got them cheaper blacksmith research as well as cheaper siege engineers as well as getting a free blacksmith. Of course, Akin Chapel is incredibly powerful. Having plus 40% gathering rate on a pretty sizable radius around it. Great for your wood collection and then eventually good for your uh, farms. Uh, 
Jesus. I was gonna volley there, some of these archers are on back. No siege engineers, no economic research whatsoever. More housing going on up. We have two military academies, bringing in some more Sapahi. We got archer range, another stable there, going for our meta and then Sapahi. I'm not sure what Yellow's going to try to do. He needs siege engineers to start really being present to his opponent's base. We do have an outpost going on up. We do now the Metro have the ranged armor being activated as well. Tapahi, there's the forces trying to find some aggression onto these berry bushes. Let's get forced them back there. Got a couple archers still here. Body tries to find opportunity to engage these forces. Man arms and a couple spearmen in the mix. He only has one spearman up here, but man arms are still pretty good for his horsemen and Sapahi. Yellow's back out off. Yellow is trying to find some more villagers. He's starting to migrate them around. He has wood camps set up in three locations. He needs more villagers on gold, which is gold deposits, of course, located right here. He does have this one way back here, but he's unable to obtain it. I got some blood, blacksmith and economic research coming on in for yellow. No siege engineers just yet. Not, I was paying attention. Yep, no siege engineers. Green has gone for the two free e moms, which will keep, keep this force nice and healed on up. Metro taking some damage now. Other vizier is now available for green. Military schools usually by a good default. But right now, he does not have enough stone to get on another military school. Though it is relatively safe for now. Do not have marching drills now being researched. Green. Still just big, one big standoff. Yellow is pretty close to aging up. Green is a bit far from aging on up. Another house there. Both sides just building up more forces. But yellow, if yellow is able to age up, probably gonna go for the Regnese Cathedral. He's going for the Bulgrav Palace. I was gonna say, Maker sees all the relics he has such great field control. Bulgrav Palace would give him a times four barracks or times five barracks. Also, it would be really useful getting that uh, man at arms research to upgrade early man at arms and regular man at arms very quickly as well. As well as the uh, veteran spearman research. 
We do now have a more range armor there for the Holy Room Empire player. Still no siege engineers, nor does have enough wood to get out some better rams. If he's paying close enough attention, he probably realized that men arms research went by was upgraded really quick. And right now these men arms do have five range armor, so the arrows are doing one damage to them. Insider does get uh plus one damage, so they'll do two damage each, but once he gets this research, it would only do one damage each. So right now once this research he does have a good time timing window to do take a large amount of use. Him and Pure Armory not being pulled on out, which will of course give him some free siege units. Some free Magnals will not hurt. Gonna make his way forward. He has to keep his archers at bay. Man arms straight forward. This area is very urbanized, good for range forces. Enter is providing additional range armor. No, it's not. Looks like it's provide now he is. It only has a range damage, not range armor. Man arms straight forward. Paul he engaging. Town center, of course. The extra arrows doing one damage each versus man arms. It will do still five damage versus uh archers. Gets a good damage there. Still got some spear mix on in. Gets a great damage there onto the Sapahi. He also pushes his way forward, hands the archers. He won't be able to get any uh, advanced research to improve his archers the moment. Sapahi now pushes way forward, gains some damage here. Some of these uh, Ottoman villagers may go down as well. There's not enough room for them to hide in the town center. And these archers need to start hitting these forces over here. They can take some views, but he has to make sure his villagers stay alive. More man arms pushing way forward. Got some crossbows being pulled on the field. Only one on the field at the moment. We've got two. He needs these crossbows to punch some bigger holes in these men arms. Couple archers now put out there here. Focus down the single crossbow. The other crossbow is being overran by men at arms as well. The archers may want to be a bit suicidal there while the crossbows do extra damage. Because right now, they're, like I said, they're doing one damage each while the crossbows would do 22 minus 6, 15. So those two crossbows doing more DPS than those archers. It's probably the deploy, deploy them out. He does lose his crossbows here. His crossbow not being pursued. Green has not been able to collect as many resources since he has been inside his town center quite a bit, but only his uh, villagers there. He still has got a number of villagers there collecting all that gold. His archers still going down. Now got a lancer. Lancers will be very effective versus these uh, men at arms. Crossbows trying to set us up away. Those crossbows have been saved. Yellow's army sound 11. Green set at 8. And does get some hits there on these villagers. Villagers now I to run away. Lancer and Sapahi trying to move up north, trying to gauge these men at arms. Does get a good charge attack there. Takes out that one man at arms, and the other should go down now. Way too many crossbows from do it, any additional work. The yeah, player did seize quite a bit of gold there. Probably not a good idea to go for Imperial Age. The benefits of Castle Age is quite significant, but the benefits of Imperial Age does take quite a bit of time and extra resources for getting all those advanced research. Was 
Let's get some good damage there on those men arms. Good volleys there, crossbows being mic around. He does not want weapons, greatly improving the damage against heavy with the men arms. Which crossbows are not. Lancers are. Decide to follow them back at the side town center there, allows them to escape those archers, man arms, and spearmen in one crossbow. Pushing along the flanks, got his stone being collected up there. Take a look at his vizier at the moment. He does have a Magnell here, idle, which can easily get overran by the man arms. He has gone for the uh, field work, Anatolian Hills, and the military ca uh, campus. Crossbows will have trouble. They're being engaged in melee. This Magnell's getting a bit of a run around there. Now the men arms are falling back. Lancer escaping through its bone space, trying to hit the prelate. Does take out the prelate there, but all the relics have been obtained there. There's one relic left on the map, way up here. He is now going to push his way forward to his opponent's space once again. Green does have an adequate number of crossbows and has one magnet on the field. And he's also trying to collect up a central gold deposit. Villager is trying to run away now. Do not have two handed weapons now being researched by the Holy Roman Empire Holy Roman Empire player. Iman gains a good AoE healing there and individual healing. Yells now is going to push forward for a good number of archers, crossbows, spearmen, and men at arms. We only have a crossbows and one Maganel here for defense. And the main arms do mean to go down, but villagers go down as well. Down south, we got these villagers building up some walls. Wolf gaining some bites there. Got a decent force now pushing all the way forward. Green Golem placement has been upgraded. Down south, we do have now the Lancer and Sepal Heat. Maybe we'll find a villager or two. That was a draw there. And these forces are going to try to fall their way back. Rain right now has a much smaller army than Yellow. Yellow right now has a little bit higher village account as well. Have these forces moving around, taking a bit of damage. Up here, we do not have these forces trying to make their advance. We've got two Magnals here, which can really cleave through the ranged forces. And put some, start putting some damage on the Spearmen, which are only hardened Spearmen, not better Spearmen. Those small here are dead. The Metrus does save a life, which is very important there. Those two inside the outpost. Crossbows are engaging the various archer forces. Spahi breaking their charge now. We do now have these 
Maganels in. There's only four. I got a single spring gold here with defense. No, there's two. One Maganel does get hit. Good damage there. Dodge is referring to Maganels. Finds good quality down the melee forces there. One Maganel does go down entirely. That's why he unable to push away forward. Imam gains a great healing there on those Spahi. Now we've got this Spahi counterattacking all the frontline forces, or most of them have gone down. Spahi trying to charge on the way forward. Does draw the mana arms a little bit, and the crossbow gets a bit damaged there. One Spring Gold does go down. Another Spring Gold goes down. Start hitting some of these archers now. And utilize their fortitude ability there. Crossbows trying to keep up the spot heat, but crossbows may just want to run away and let the spot heat die. Takes out some of these individual mana arms, trying to set our stuff away. Bring gold to the forward. Maganel finds no volley there. Doing now the hardened spear and research. Small splash hit there. Spring gold is now pushed forward. Trying to hit that other spring gold. Spot he falling up back. Sports is pushing push forward. Rolls a miss there. Does he got that unit there? Crossbow's falling back. I just got two Meganels now. I'm not sure where that Spring Gold went. All right there. Spring Gold pushed way forward. Meganels rotating around. Finds a volley there. It's a small hit there. Take out one of the archers. Now got the second site being captured on up. Got these horses push away for because the dancer on the spot he filters. Some do go down. Meganels find a good dancer onto the spearmen. Crossbow's through here in good numbers. Spot he finds some uh balloon fire filters there. Meganels there. Looks like one of the horses went down there. Meganels eyeing for a counter barrage. Finds a volley there onto the spring gold, taking it out. Maganel gets a hit there on the Maganel, as well as some crossbows. Spring gold push right forward. It may be one shot, it does get finished off there. I got some Ottoman mana arms pulled on the field as we got the Holy Empire player getting very severely dwindled down. Maganel gets a small hit. Up north, we do have some mana arms up here. Ah, he over here, all of them severely wounded. Those just need to keep their distance. Not being claimed by the Holy Empire player there, so probably being finished off as well as those villagers. Green still has less villagers than opponent. Both sides have done a good number on the opponent's villagers' numbers. When it comes to uh, economic text, Holy Empire player still doesn't actually have wheelbarrow. Of course, they do get more or less a natural wheelbarrow. But the increased movement speed is also very important for the wheelbarrow uh, research. No economic text bar in Wheelbarrow 4, the Holy Empire player.
Aka Chapel doesn't have a whole lot of number of farms around it just yet. Yes, now I'm pushing my four. Got four Metro there, so that's probably a bit of a miss few of numbers. Three mana arms doing a good job of keeping hold of the front line. Spring Gulls to going down for both sides. Green just lost two. Yellow just lost two. And has still two remaining. Man arms being picked on off as they start charging away forward when the Metros got picked off as well. I got some Janissaries, probably from the bot 10 to get out 10. There goes another Spring Gold. Janissaries pushing away forward. Another way back. Aganel's buying a uh, hit there on some of the farms. Get some decent hits there. Janissaries pushing forward as well as some crossbows. Looks like some of the walls went down there. I think they've been sacked. And we've got those main arms going down as well. Good amount of damage there. And Yelda's back on out. There's Angrade saying, think of watching and on to the next replay.